July 4th, 1910, Reno, Nevada. Jack Johnson made the second defense of this title against James Jeffries, the retired, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. Johnson became the heavyweight champion when he defeated the then champion, Tommy Burns, in Sydney, Australia, in December of 1908. His first successful defense of the title saw him knock out Stanley Ketchum, the middleweight champion in 12 rounds. Jeffries hasn't fought in six years. He comes out of retirement to take on Johnson and was a 5 to 3 favorite to regain the championship. The temperature that day was 103 degrees. Fix Richard was the promoter for this fight. He was also the referee. Johnson weighed in at 197 pounds. Jeffries, 223 pounds. Jim Jeffries was known as the Boilermaker. He first won the title in June of 1899 by knocking out Bob Fitzsimmons in 11 rounds. Here on the 15th round of a grueling fight, Johnson comes on. Johnson, never accused of having great boxing finesse, preferred to finesse you with powerful body punches and right over guts. A crushing blow to the midsection put Jeffries down. Johnson stayed with a pressure, there being no little better in those days. Jeffries is tired. Johnson knocks him down with a short right over gut, and it's all over. Jeffries wants to continue, and Johnson, just to make sure, knocks him down again. Jack Johnson retains his heavyweight championship with a 15-round knockout of Jim Jeffries.